Welcome back to Madman Review, and today we're going to talk about knife maintenance, specifically knife sharpeners. Sharpening a knife is as important to a hunter as an axe to a lumberjack. A lot of jobs can be done so much faster and easier and even safer with a sharp knife. Now, it might sound counterintuitive, but a dull blade is actually more dangerous to handle than a sharp one. Why is that? Well, it's simple. A dull knife is a lot harder to work with, and you end up doing sawing motions with the knife. You might put a little bit too much force into it, and the blade sails right through and cuts into yourself. In fact, this is exactly why some people get what is called avocado hand. A combination of improper cutting technique and a dull blade can have some serious consequences. The point is, you need to keep your knife sharp for both ease of use and safety. Before I give you my recommendations, I want to discuss the basics first. There are countless sharpeners out there. Some are just a slab of rock and others are much more intricate. Before you decide, you need to understand the type of edge you want your knife to have. There are two types here, flat and convex. Flat is a simple V-shaped edge and a convex edge is a slight curve to the bevel. The latter does not feel as sharp, but is more durable. That said, both types of edges can be sharp enough to shave with. Although you might want a convex edge as they are less likely to roll or chip under heavy use. Other than that, you also need to consider the edge angle. The more acute it is, the sharper your knife gets, but you sacrifice edge strength and durability. So it is a balancing act, but many systems come with angle guides, so you can have a consistent angle across the entire edge. With the theories out of the way, here are my top five picks for knife sharpeners at varying price points and complexity. As always, the links to these products are in the description below, so make sure to check them out. The Smith's Arkansas Stone. Let's start with a basic budget sharpener, Smith Arkansas Stone. It's nice and cheap, and you cannot find a sharpener that offers the same performance at the same price point. Of course, pull-through sharpeners can lowball the price a bit, but they chew up the blade and generally do not perform very well when you want a sharp edge. So what do we have with Arkansas Stone? Well, you get a pick between a 4-inch or a 6-inch slab, and I recommend you go for the latter. There are no fancy angles or moving parts, just a solid stone to work your blade into. That means you need to learn sharpening techniques by yourself, which takes a bit of practice. But once you get there, there's a level of satisfaction from doing it the old-fashioned way. The biggest challenge would be to maintain your angle, but you can find countless tutorials online. With practice, you can sharpen your blade into either a convex edge or a V-edge. Smith's also has guides to help you out at the start if you are unfamiliar with the process. The Spyderco Triangle Sharp Maker the sharp maker is intended for kitchen knives, which do not receive the same level of abuse as hunting knives. However, chefs will attest to the importance of having a sharp knife. Gordon Ramsay himself sharpens his knives before making any cuts. So, if you're looking for a countertop sharpener, this is the one you should consider picking up. It comes with ceramic rods with varying grits so you can decide how much material you want to remove. The way it sits on the counter also allows it to provide a semi-guided system whereby you can choose the angle off the edge you prefer. Simply hold your knife nice and straight and let it glide down the rod in a sweeping motion from the heel to the tip. I understand that this takes a bit of practice to get used to, but once you get the rhythm and motion, you can bring the edge to a near mirror polish with ease. Of course, if the damage is bad enough, then it will take some time to polish it out. This is probably the only downside for the Sharp Maker. It does not have a rod coarse enough to remove real damage quickly. However, it will work with blades of any size and achieve a nice B edge. The Work Sharp Ken Onion the Ken Onion is an improvement over Work Sharp's original electric belt knife sharpener. Compared to the previous model, the Ken Onion has many new features and improvements. That put it on the list of the most versatile knife sharpener money can buy. Well, let's talk about the features. The Ken Onion gives you a convex edge and repairs broken tips, deep chips, and rolls in a jiffy. You can adjust the angle from 10 degrees to 35 on a semi-guided attachment. This sharpener can work with axes, machetes, scissors, or even straight to beyond razor sharp edges with mirror polish. With a blade grinder attachment, you can even try your hand at knife making as well. If you want an electric knife sharpener that lasts a lifetime, this is for you. You're getting a lot of value from the Ken Onion. The Work Sharp Knife and Tool Sharpener Powered by various belts and electric motor, this sharpener is an excellent tool in giving your knives a nice and sharp convex edge. It's easy to use and quickly gives razor sharp edges consistently to minimize maintenance time and maximize cutting mileage. The belts are very durable and can last several sharpening sessions. They do eventually wear out, but replacement is dirt cheap, so there is nothing to worry about. The sharpener comes with guides for your angles, so just pull your knife through the alternating sides of the guides 
and you would be set. But do be careful though, if you use the coarsest belts in high RPM mode, you can remove a lot of material very rapidly. If you opt for those, go easy on the blade. Other than that, try to firmly hold the blade so it does not rotate as it can quickly dull the tip. The Wicked Edge Pro Pack 1. The Pro Pack 1 from Wicked Edge is an excellent sharpener for pocket EDC knives. It allows you to achieve that fabled perfect mirror polish. Hair whittling edges without fail. Even after much use, it still holds up very well. You pay for the durability and performance in the price tag, but I guarantee it is worth every penny. You can select from 15 to 25 degrees angle per side, then clamp it in and follow the directions. Suddenly you end up with a razor sharp blade, maybe even sharper than your knife used to be out of the box. The Wicked Edge will give you excellent mirror V-edge consistently and easily, so if that is what you want, consider giving one. And there you have it folks, these are my recommendations for knife sharpeners, they do a really good job in keeping your knife razor sharp, if you know how to use them. Lucky for you, all the knives on this list here are very easy to use, so the learning curve is not that steep. You might encounter some pull through sharpeners and wonder if they are good for your knives, most of the time, they do more harm than good. A few models out there can do an okay job in touching up the edge a bit, but they don't really sharpen a knife. So just pick one that you need from the list above. If you like this video, make sure to give us a like and tell us what you think in the comment section down below. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to our channel and hit that bell icon to be notified when a new episode comes out. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.